be Pains Are Back. Season 1, Episode 1, A Surprise for the Pains. And I have to say, I am happy they are back, number one. Number two, I've missed them. Number three, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like this is going to be, the show is going to be good. I really wanted to see them at the original house. And so I'm hoping before the season is over, they're at the original house. I really didn't want them to see them in the retired house, but I'm going to give this a chance before I say anything. I like seeing the kids all grown up. Malik and Jasmine are cute. Janine. Janine is the only one that didn't age. Calvin, he looked old like he fit in his 50s. Curtis and, and Ella, they age well. You can't hardly tell they age that much. Um, CJ, he looked like he aged just a little. But to me, the, uh, the guy that plays Calvin looked like he aged the most. Like he, yeah, and the kids aged a lot. But anyway, then it could have been bad makeup because... Some of these shows here lately have been having the worst in makeup. I don't know. But anyway, I think the show is going to be good. I'm going to be honest. I was hoping this show would have incorporated like Angela and Marcus as the neighbors. Um, they was going to Hattie's restaurant or something to eat or Hattie and them as the other neighbors so we could still see them. Because I really liked Love Thy Neighbors and I liked um, the um, For Better For Worse. I hated to see those shows leave at the same time as I wanted the pains back. I did not know he was going to take those two shows to bring us the pains, which I never tweeted about it. I never asked him for it. I'm sure other people did. That you got to lose something to get something. I don't know. But anyway, the first show is basically the main cast in uh, uh, going to Florida for... <laughs> Curtis's uncle Ricky, no Robert, uncle uh, his uncle Robert's funeral, and Curtis then already went. Apparently, he went ahead before Ella called down there. He done bought a laundromat that they lied to him and told him it was making eight thousand dollars a month and is making like eight dollars a month. Bought this house for little nothing. To get it off their hands because this was a, a dump. Sold they house. Didn't tell Ella. Moved her down here to where a church that she was told she wasn't needed at. Yada, yada. whoop de woo So they don't move down here. Unbeknownst to Ella that they was moving. She thought they was just going through, to a doggone funeral. So she was upset, hurt, bothered. Then jumped up in the camp. Going to leave everybody there. Going back to the house. But... <clears throat> as she thought about it, it was a church there, what have you. She turned around and went back. Curtis giving Ella all kinds of compliments, trying to prepare for the surprise before he told her about it. And <laughs> Janine telling him, don't poke the, poke the bear. And that dog going, <laughs> Jasmine going to say, because this is a big old bear to be poking. So, Kevin and um, Miranda are apparently divorced because he on the phone talking about he checking on his child and Curtis dropped subliminals that he he know more about being divorced than anything else. And then when CJ or uh, Janine one looked on his phone, he said, yeah, you look like you checking on kids when you talking to Bay and Stephanie or something like that. So he's still be in the thought box. Ain't really that much change. So anyway. I'm like Kevin. I thought Ella was about to divorce him. But anyway. I'm like Jasmine. That little sh shack Curtis done moved them to. Look like dog gonna look like a horny house. But anyway. So that was all of episode one. He had to tell her about the house and whatnot. So then, of course, it's just a 30 minute show. So then we went into show number two, which was called, uh, which is season one or episode two, The Revelations of the Pains. Now, um, that he got the house and whatnot, we, uh, 
you know, Ella wasn't going to be happy with this piece of crap house. And he talking about, let her sit there, look, look at the, the Pope trees, which is pine and oak trees mixed. <laughs> Curtis, Malik and Jasmine keep poking Mama Bear. They done about got Ella even more mad. And, um, I'm going to tell you what you don't do. And I agree with Ella. You don't sell your family home. Your family home is your home. Like she said, it's the home where you done raised all your kids. It's the home where your everything in life is your history. It's your, everything you got. You would you don't ever do nothing like that without talking to your mate first. Why would you do something like that? You do not do that. That's just it's just a no. So anyway. I'm figuring what's going to end up happening. Then he go over to the laundromat. He see the laundromat is a dump. Uh, Jackie's son, and that's the aunt, his aunt, his uncle wife that sold him every, everything. <clears throat> While Ellen and Janine, after they made the U-turn, went back to the church. And she went in there and talked to Jackie about helping at the church and what have you. And she was about to get Jackie together and get Jackie told, but then she was like, well, what's going on here with these kids? And she realized all the money that, uh, why she sold the house to the laundromat to Curtis was to get that money to start an after school program for kids. So now Ella getting more interested in staying there. But anyway, when they was there, it's a girl that worked there named Nala. Now the husband just gonna come up in the it come up in there and tell her let me see you outside. Now y'all remember on the on the old show of the pain when Clarita and Ella had the beat up old boy because he kept abusing that lady. <laughs> I'm like where Clarita? Cause see we already know before the season be over with. He gonna get dealt with by Ellen. So I'm guessing since it being Ellen and Clarita, it's gonna be Ellen and Jackie. And then I'm ready for them to show the twins and what they look like. Of course, you know they're gonna be about 12 years old because everybody grown now. But anyway, Jackie, I mean, they left the kids, at, the twins at home. They got left with Curtis, left them. I'm guessing they with Miss Clarita or somebody. I don't even know who they with. Either they old enough to stay by themselves. Because I don't know how old they are till we get ready to see them. But anyway, double tap. <laughs> if you watch the show, you know what that meant. You got to watch the show to know what that meant. Double tap. <laughs> That's my sale for the rest of 2018. Double tap. <laughs> double tap. So if somebody saying something I don't like, you got to watch the show to know what I'm talking about. But if you're doing some own bite, I'm be like double tap. <laughs> anyway, that was all of the pains. I enjoyed it. I'm happy they are back. Looking forward to episode two. To me, this is a good family show. I don't. There's no family shows to really watch for us. This was this was it. This is our family show. Um, we added it to the collection. So our family shows as of right now, um, comedy wise, is the pains. The only other family shows we watch together is If Loving You Is Wrong and, it's, and the Have and the Have Nots. But as far as comedy-wise, now will be the pains because we don't watch one. But anyway, because I think my parents were, were watching Blackish and something else. Everything that they've watched is going off now. So this is our new show. I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.